and welcome to Murphy's Garden and this is a different video because we're inside. We've had a really cold snap here in the UK with um, temperatures going down to about minus 7 degrees centigrade which I think is about 19 degrees Fahrenheit. I know for you Americans that's probably nothing but for us we find it quite chilly and it still is cold but it's not quite as cold as it was. So um, not much gardening to be done, the ground's frozen. Um, so can't really do much outside. So I'm taking the opportunity to get on and um, prepare the house for Christmas. I've got the kids coming home tomorrow, so I'm really excited to see them and I want the house to look nice. So um, when I've been busy, which I have been the last few weeks with work, um, we kind of got the decorations down and just kind of went into automatic pilot, just kind of plonking them up in the same way that we always do. Um, and um, I think actually it looks a little bit boring. I'm doing the same thing every year. Um, and the garland that I had on here, which I put out every year, I had done that. And um, and then the lights failed on it, the light, they weren't working. So um, it was a bit annoying because I had to take everything down and um, get all the lights out and um, replace them with some new lights. So I had to strip it all apart. So I then kind of thought, oh, this is perhaps a good opportunity to look at it again and perhaps do something a bit more interesting. And there was a really good um, article in the RHS magazine this month, which was all about decorating, doing Christmas decorations in a more natural way, using natural things from the garden. And also, I know a lot of you follow um, Bunny Guinness, and she had a lovely video out, um, her last video on using dried flowers to do Christmas decorations. So that really inspired me to take the opportunity to try something new. So I didn't do the video while I was doing it because I didn't really know what I was doing. It was quite experimental. Um, but we, over the course of the summer, we dried a lot of flowers. We picked and grew a lot of flowers um, specifically with a view to drying them and it works really well. We've got some really nice um, flowers and I've used them throughout um, the summer months to make um, little posies around the house and also to make uh, wreaths and um, just lots of lovely things. Really, really enjoyed them, but I have got quite a lot. So um, I took all the, the previous decorations down and um, put the garland back up again and then just sort of arranged the dried flowers into the what is an artificial green garland. So I'll just show you what it looks like. So here's Murphy. Hey Murphy. Hello Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> so he's just warming himself by the fire, but above the fireplace we've got the garland. So um, so I'll just show you what I've got on there. So I've got the um, the hydrangea which we dried and then there's the the lovely um, straw flowers and the Breeza Maxima grass. I've got some Achillea, uh, that's some Gypsophilia, and these are the Echinops. I was then a bit worried that it didn't look very Christmassy, so I have shoved in some um, gold baubles. I think that's some Salvia, and um, what else? Oh, the Eucalyptus, that, that worked really well. That's been drying. I just put them all on the beams, actually. We've got beams in the kitchen, so and here's some, some other grasses. I can't remember what that one is. And I have used the cones. I've got some cones that I I sprayed, I don't know, years ago I did those. So I've used those as well. And um, yeah, we've got those little lights, little starship lights, and there's more of the gypsophilia and um, just all the same stuff on this side as well. So the hydrangea. And the best thing about having all these lovely flowers that we've dried ourselves and we've grown ourselves in the garden. I grew all these from seed, the um, heliochrysomes and the Breeza Maxima I grew from seed as well. So it's the full circle of life and being able to enjoy them in the winter time when it's cold and wet outside. And this little one here is the um, Catenanche Carulia. That's the plant that we got when we went to um, John Lord's garden in the summertime. So that's a little memory of our summer holiday. So it evokes lots of memories, um, which makes it all the more enjoyable. I can picture all of these things growing in the garden. And here they are now to be enjoyed at Christmas time too. So I'll just pan back and um, let you see that in situ. And, um, and then we've pan round um, 
that's the Christmas tree all decorated and as I said that's the way I've been doing it for several years now so perhaps with doing trying something new perhaps that will give me um, the incentive to do something a bit different with the Christmas tree next year we do normally have a real Christmas tree in the dining room and that's a, normally absolutely beautiful I absolutely love it but this year we're actually in the midst of um, decorating the dining room so we're without it this year so I really miss that and we look forward to having that back again next year so we'll just head now into the kitchen So this is the um, table arrangement that I've done using all the um, dried flowers again and there's just the same really eucalyptus, gypsophilia, um, straw flowers and the lovely um, Breeze Maxima which I love, I love the way it just nods its head and lavender, there's also lavender in there as well so yeah I'm really pleased with that. Above here, above the door, is the um, original wreath that I did in the summer using all the dried flowers and I haven't disturbed that. I could have made that perhaps, it has got lights on it and I perhaps could have made it look a bit more Christmassy but I didn't want to disturb it because I love it. So I'll just leave that as it is. And here is the wreath that I've done for the front door. So this is just with lots of fresh foliage from the garden. Um, we've got some Pittosporum, more of the um, eucalyptus, and um, this is the um, skimmia with the little red berries in it, which makes it look quite festive. And of course, lots of ivy. So um, we'll get that up on the front door tomorrow. Um, more of the Pittosporum there and these, these lovely variegated ivy leaves. So I'll just stand back and you see that. So we'll get that up on the front door tomorrow and this is the garland that we have just running beam to beam in the kitchen just to add a bit of um, festivity to the kitchen as well and this is the garland in the hall so this runs all the way up right the way up to the top So I've managed to get the wraith up on the front door. We have got a new front door. We've got a taller front door for anyone that's very observant may notice. Um, so that's looking nice. And this is the other wreath which I've just put on the um, gate. It's been on there for about a week or two now. So. Um, these are um, dried hydrangea heads that we dried and I think the foliage is staying quite fresh with the cold weather it's not dying and all that remains is to say happy Christmas hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and thank you very much for all of you for subscribing and supporting the channel and we look forward to many more videos in 2023 so I'm gonna go walk wherever you now it's horribly cold it's really bitter and um, windy now and damp but um, go and walk Murphy and then I'm in for the rest of the day and the kids are arriving very soon so thanks for watching and join us in the next video bye for now